Damn, look at all that orange in this video. Jeez. Okay, this, these bars aren't going to work. So we're gonna, we got a new set of bar right here to use, or at least half of one. That's all we really need, right? I'm going to scratch that chrome up. You don't put that on there, right? Loosen me up, boss. <laughs> One by your index finger. Mm -hmm. There you go. You just have to get the one that was loose. Okay, tighten me down. So you're supposed to do it evenly. Well, I thought we were just trying to. Yes, we're trying to put the bike together. Yes, yes, we had that plan going. <laughs> All right, don't don't break the chrome. See, I got a mm -hmm. See now we can't. There's no way of bleeding it because the air wants to go up here. And if you go like that, the air will come up the line, come out here, and we can bleed it. Understand? Mm -hmm. it has to be mounted like that. Okay. So we need to tighten this up. Nine sixteenths. Where's the three S or seven sixteenths? squeeze coming up. And it's pushing it. It's not too happy. We're going to have to maybe do a little right here. We'll get it mounted. Okay, it'll work for now. Okay, tighten me down. Okay. We need a towel, a couple of towels around here. Where's that pink stuff that's on there? Mm hmm? Where's that slip? Where's your sock? Your white condom. Oh, well, you don't have your white condom on here. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna have to hold this up here like this. Put fluid in here and get this thing going. Give right. me a towel. All right, we're good to go. Got a job for you to do. Look at that. You're good at that. You don't have the, do you have the pump for it? A or pump? Do a no, I do a gravity. I hate pumps. Pump to do it in like five minutes. Yeah, well. I mean, you have to have a pump that work with the squat. Here we are. Can't have that being uphill. This heavy uphill. I do my stuff gravity feed. When the air quits coming out, it's out. We don't care if it takes five weeks to do it. Full yet? Close. Close! Okay. Go for it. Remember how to do it, don't you? You're already making a mess over here. Any bubbles yet? Not yet. Why not? Where's all your bubble bubbles at? Where's your bubblicious going on? I see one bubble, two bubble. More angle. There you go. The vegetable drain out. The bleeders were closed off, weren't they? This has little dinky breathers in it. There we at? Nope, that one's loose. Here. I'm gonna do my little wrench. It used to be over here. Thank you. Got too much crap in here. Too much crap. That's 
not the one. That ain't it either. Stole it. Somebody. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. We'll use this, maybe. This is too big. Oh, that's way too big. What's this? Five sixteens? Yeah, we need a quarter inch. Somebody borrowed it. You got a little socket? Yeah, I'm looking for my little brake blader, but it's, it's not here. It might be in the back. He might have been using it on the 67. Who knows? No, we got small wrenches. We just got to figure out which size it is. This is a dinky little sucker here, like a quarter inch. That's probably what it is. Yep, that's the guy. Okay, that one was tight. There we go. This one was loose. Okay, those are all tight. How's the bubble bubbles going? <laughs> it's gone. What'd you do to all the fluid? <laughs> it would... Jeez. If you're pumping it away on it, it's got nothing in it. You like pumping air? I didn't. I wasn't pumping. I was just holding it. It just drained. It probably went out that hole down there. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Getting a little high. All right, go for it. Well, it didn't come out the bottom yet, so that's a good sign. Any bubbles yet? You just barely crack is all you gotta do. Yep, that's it. Boop, 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 boop. Where's all that fluid going? It's going home. It's going down, down, down. Now you could open the valves up and drain down gravity, but I like doing it by manual method. Eventually it'll just pour out on the ground. You're starting to suck air again. There's some more fluid in there. All right, making a mess. Look at all those bubbles you're getting. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Air sticks along a little bit. Give it a full pump, see what happens. Okay, another one. Gets more air coming, see, sucks up air. I'm assuming there's no drag on it yet. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, they're still loose.
Do we're going down very much anymore? It's kind of slowed down, but still getting a lot of bubbles. We're still dropping. I'm just ready for another fill-up job. Big bubble. Still mm -hmm. bubbling good. Ready for some more fluid yet? Time for some fluid. A lot of bubbles. Oh, we got a leak over here. Who did drop from oh, us? Not you. Who are we dripping from here? Right here. We got a leak. Did you loosen up the. Uh, you didn't tighten this line up down here, boss. You missed one. Where's the 716? Oh, it's behind you over there. That'll slow down the uh, bleeding process. <laughs> Enough this line loose right here. It's only partially tight and dripping down here. That's how you know it's leaking. Good thing you had your fender protector on here. Any difference? Nope, still got bubbles. Still got bubble bubble. Try on that side. Try. <laughs> Big bubbles. If you move your handlebars all the way forward, we can do it on your bike. <laughs> Squirting pretty good up top. See how the squirting is getting higher and higher on the top? Mm -hmm. That means you're getting less and less air in the system. Let me throw a little more in there.
a couple pulls. Here we go. Okay, we're just trying to work down here. Pads are loosening up or getting tight. So. Feel something now or not? A little bit. It's getting a little better. Three inches squirt there. <laughs> Ears are off and off, though, I imagine. I'm not sure if the uh, crossbar here is which way the air is going on this one. Pressure in here at all yet? Yeah. I'm just gonna wrench out. Oop. Okay, I'll try to bleed down here. Pump it up a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and bleed. Try to put a little hair through the system here. Okay, give me about two or three pumps in a row to try to build up anything you got. Let me know when you got something. Okay, hold it. holding it tight. Again, I let a lot of air come out. Do that again, I'll get it away. All right, it's tight. Solid, solid fluid. Got a big shot of air out though. That should have felt better, did it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, let's go on the other side. That was the furthest one away, so that's always first. We got blip, blip, blip up there. Oh, I'm trying to squirt me. Squirting juices at me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try this one down here. All right, it's tight. Solid fluid and squirt again. Okay, nothing but fluid. Should be pretty good now. How's it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Put this down. Feel like you actually got a brake working right now? Yep. Okay. So how much is it actually moving? Any air coming up anymore? No. How much fluid we got? We're just about out of fluid. Fluid level's getting low. Okay. I'm not sure how much we're going to put in there because I got that big, big rubber turd we got to put on there. Where is that rubber turd at? Uh, I don't know. Did you leave it? I don't know. I didn't leave it. Not there. No, it's over here. Okay, wipe it down. You can't roll the wheel to see how the brakes work. This is mounted. You see it. You see that? 
Okay, grab that towel and clean up down below. Still got a lot of air in there. That's starting to feel better now. See, we back blood this just like we did on the rear one. Mm -hmm. We can get a lot of the fluid, a lot of this air out to come out. So we'll probably let this sat for a day or so and then we'll bleed it some more. Okay. It's already getting up there pretty good, but it's got about 50% air in it. See how the lever goes that far. So yeah. It won't go all the way to the handlebar, but it's close to it. Each time I do this, I help. But see, I can't see what we got for fluid level right now, how much air is in there, but. How's that feel compared to what you had? A little better. Yeah. It's getting any better now. It's almost all up now. All right. We definitely locked the front end up. No doubt about that. We're a long ways from the bar, so you can. I'm all in them this far from the bar. There's not much air in there, very, very little. Hmm. Alright, we'll let that uh, do its thing overnight. Let's go ahead and get this up on the bike. I'm going to see if the uh, brake line will even work this high. Shocked if we could put that over the bar in because <laughs> we got the, uh, the line pretty short. Pull out a little bit, pull out in the bar. Okay, put it up there. Lean it toward you a little bit. Swing it. Let's go down. Get that. There you go. Four inches. That gravity helped me on the screws. There's four of them here. So. Okay, put up where it belongs. We just leave that. So it's going to sit probably about there is where it's going to sit. How's the line length? Looks good. Yeah, chrome, we don't want that dirty. There's no leaks. Nasty ass chrome, you don't want to have any dirt on that. So the line looks like it's uh, tucked in there pretty cleanly. Should be good.
Give it a couple pulls on there, see if it bleeds off. How's it feel? Feels the same. Feels good. Yeah. Feels good. I think it feels pretty damn good just like that. It's enough to lock it up with just that, but it, there's a little bit of air in there, I think. We'll let it bleed up a little bit. We'll do another uh, couple pumps out down below, but I think we got most of the air out of the system. But uh, we'll let it sit overnight and deal with it tomorrow. We are going to have to get the mouse on the back out, angled up to get the air out of it again, because right now it's going to collect right that banjo right there. Yeah. Yeah, you can always crack the banjo as to bleed air, but it just makes a mess. It's just like bleeding a brake caliper. But yeah, it looks pretty good there. Lines up. It's not leaking out of the backside yet, so rebuild was holding. O rings are holding. Did you pick out your mirrors yet? Yeah. Okay, you gotta get uh, that takes a mirror. Yeah, only, that takes a standard mirror on that one. Only need one. Well, that'd be on the other side. It'd be over here. Yeah. Had to rebuild that clutch lever and max and figure out the cables and all that. So. All right, we got two brakes on the bike Clutch today. Lever should be on its way. Oh, we didn't have a. Did you have to buy a whole unit or what? I had to buy a whole thing. Oh, we well, yeah, we get it chrome. We got to send it out. It's already chromed. Oh, okay, good. So that makes it easy. All right. Should, should be on its way. We just got to do this here, huh? Yeah, I'll have to custom make that. It'll take me an hour at least to dick with that damn thing. We found a couple of Allen bolts to put in here for the throttle. Right here, I'm gonna draw. Tap the uh, holes out and die the screws and get this to go together. I wasn't going to put this stupid ass dampener thing in there. Do you want that to be functional or may you just take that piece of crap out of there? Uh, That's that throttle holder. Yeah, it's my cruise control. You want me to keep that? Yeah. Okay, yeah, make it work. Yeah. <laughs> More crap I got to make work. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we make it work. You guys rip them out and throw them in the trash. But, uh, anyway, that's supposed to go into there. This appears to be a problem. They want to go together. Here. Maybe that's the reason. throttle you need. Wide open. See so it gets caught there and it goes a little bit further. See it catches right mm -hmm. there. Then you go a little more. That's the problem with these things. So it goes past that. Something down here is catching it. Oh, it's probably kitten down here where the screw part is. What's this little nick you see right there? What's that little? Mm -hmm. well, your throttle stop is only hitting against this edge. That's all you get for a throttle stop for, to, for idle. Mm. How far it comes back. That's the problem with these things. Not much that way. This way here is a pretty hard hit. This flat surface against here is a hard hit. Mm -hmm. Boom. That works for you know, wide open, you get a good hit, but going backwards, see so you, you go past that when you go down the next one. The plastic ones, you hit the top and it shears that off, you go to the bottom and it shears that off and you go further down, it really jams in there. Mm -hmm. You got like 15 different stops in the damn thing, they all, they're all locked up, they only work freely right in here, you know. <laughs> so, you just gotta deal with all this stuff. So, easy, I grind this all the way so it doesn't hit on that, because it was never made to hit on that anyway. It's made to go right across until this catches. Gotcha. So yeah. This. So where it bottoms out right there is what it is. And the problem is you plastic is sheared off. Because all you hit is right on the little corner. Right. So it just shears that thing right off and it goes all the way down to here until it hits at the bottom. And that's mm. why you get that drag on those on the throttles. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work right. It's because it ain't supposed to go that far. It's supposed to stop there and not go all the way down to here. So you can either make it go all the way down to there and stop or you can make it hit up on the top. If we're going to hit up on the top, then I have to make it where it actually will do that. That's the problem. Hmm. I have to make but, it make it fit. Yeah. That's all fun for me to do. I did one before. It worked fine, but I don't know what I did. I dicked around it for a while. I remember that. All right. I think we're done for the night on this one. We yes, have sir. some brakes, front and rear. We could push it down a hill now. 
You can go ride your bike. Yeah. <laughs> Not even have brakes. It'd be like one of those scooters out. You can run out there for a dollar a minute or whatever they are. Over its own power. There you go. All right, we're done for that.